So we've just published our new quarterly outlook, and for the first time in a long time, we're feeling more optimistic about our forecast, even though we've revised growth down in Canada and the United States a little bit lower this year. And the reason for this is quite simple, actually. We think that our risks to the forecast, both upside and downside, are more balanced now than they've been in quite a while. So what we've seen over the last three months, which is quite comforting, are pickup in orders of durable goods in the United States, which are an indication that firms in the U.S. are starting to think about investment a little bit differently than they had before. Now this is something we've been watching for a long time and we've been be looking for U.S. investment to pick up. And in fact, uh, investment globally has been incredibly weak for, for since the great financial crisis. On the Canadian side, we have a couple of other risks that are, that are equally significant. One is obviously the rise in oil prices, which is, which is uh, quite a bit higher than we thought earlier this year. So that will provide a boost of growth in Canada this year to some extent, and certainly more next year. The rise in U.S. investment, which is, which is critically important from the Canadian perspective because our export prospects are tied very tightly to those of the U.S. industrial sector. So the stronger U.S. investment is, the stronger our export will be. And tied to all of these things is the sense that business optimism is rising in Canada. On the international side, um, our outlook is uh, a little bit more positive than we thought last time around, largely on account of the fact that the recession that we'd anticipated in the UK is not likely to materialize in the near term. It's not to say that we're reevaluating uh, our views on Brexit. We do think it's going to be negative for the UK economy. It's just going to take a little bit longer than we thought before the full impacts of, of the consequences of the vote will be internalized on the UK economy. So we do expect growth in Europe as a result of this to remain relatively weak next year and it's something that we'll be watching very carefully.